Well, I grew up in a family that went to church every Sunday. We stopped going to church when I was about 10. Uh, it kind of died off, and then we were kind of just going Christmas and Easter, and then gradually it became not at all. Around that time, when I was 12, I started being molested by my first cousin until I was 14. And that's kind of when my relationship with God kind of took a spiral down, because I was mad. I started doing anything and everything to feel better. So I would do drugs, alcohol, anything. And I would try to talk to God, but I think I wanted a relationship, but at the same time, I was so frustrated and angry with what I had gone through. I needed somebody to blame. So that was the one person I could do it to, and I knew he wouldn't go anywhere. Um, then I got married when I was 18. I had three babies from there, back to back. And after the last one, I started realizing that because I didn't have the drugs and alcohol, the feelings started coming back up and I could tell that something wasn't right. So I went to a counselor and I was diagnosed with uh, what they call borderline personality disorder. It's basically an emotional instability. I tried to take medication for it and it only made it worse. I had a couple suicide attempts. So when I got older and realized that something wasn't right, I tried a lot of different medication. I think I tried about six. And each one, God, I'm sorry. Every time I got into a car, I just thought of what it would be like to just run off the road and not be here anymore. I spent a lot of days thinking that I wasn't worth anything. I wasn't good enough. All I could think was I just hate myself. You know, I just don't want to be here. And I don't know why God is letting me feel this way. Fast forward, I uh, laid in my bed one night and I just cried and cried and I was praying. And I just kept asking him, like, why? You know, why has so many bad things happened to me? Why have I had to see so, so many things at such a young age? Why did I have to grow up so fast? And I was like, can you please just help me? Can you save me? You know, like, this, this is it for me. I cannot wake up another day feeling this way. I can't keep putting my husband through this. I can't keep putting my kids through this. I can't do it. And it was, it was insane because I woke up the next day and it was like I wasn't alone. It was an indescribable feeling that it was going to be fine. It was going to be okay. I didn't know how. I didn't know when. But it was going to be okay, and I hadn't felt that ever, ever in my life had I ever felt like so sure about something. And every day, I took little steps and started feeling better. And I had never, ever felt like that. And I, it was weird because when I was praying and I cried myself to sleep praying to him, I wasn't expecting to wake up and everything be different and ever since then everything has been different i feel free from everything and when i had I, like all of my negative thoughts were replaced with good ones and i like i can't explain it the only ex explanation i can come up with is that he is there with me so whenever i get a negative thought i replace it with a good thought and it's easy to do that now it wasn't easy to do that before I've, I've struggled a lot throughout my life. You know, I developed eating disorders. I've struggled with bulimia. So to be free from everything, or at least not be alone in dealing with it, I don't know what would have happened if I didn't give myself over that night. 
My name is Mariah Sundek, and I am getting baptized today because God has thoroughly set me free from every single thing I've ever been through.